stream to start before actually going into the stream. But here we are. I got this awesome Mew box that I want to open up tonight. Um, I actually bought this mostly for the box because I thought the box is pretty cute. And also, I like to store cards that I really like in boxes like this. So I'm going to open this. I actually got this online the other day. And I just thought that it looked so cool. Look at that. Um, I do want to mention I am not affiliated with Nintendo. Oh, hold on just one second. I am hearing myself. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right. I'm going to actually open this box. And if you guys are still on and interested afterwards, we can go through some old Pokemon cards. Because I need to go through those pages as well. Super, super excited for this, guys. Mew is probably my favorite Pokemon, so seeing this little Mew box, super cute, very exciting. Ah. And of course, on top we have our Mew card, which is obviously guaranteed. Very nice. Obviously, that's going to be going in cases, or a case. And everything else in here, it looks like it's just packs. So since we're here, and there's the inside... Uh, since we're here, I'm going to open the packs that we just got, uh, because why not? That's what we're here to do. And these are a little bit older than our newest ones that I've been opening, um, but I think not much, not much older. So the Fusion Strike ones are the ones we've been opening. And this is, I don't know, Vivid Voltage, I guess? So I'm going to start with the Pokemon that I like the least and move upward, and I'm sorry, I think that's got to be... Oh man, I don't know. They're all so cool. I think all the, what are they, Gigantamax forms? I don't know much about this one, so we're going to do this one, the Sun and Moon one. Uh, I don't I don't think I played Sun and Moon, so I'm excited to see what we have in these packs. Hold on. Let me get this open just right. Okay, so we take four from the back and put them to the front, right? That's how that works? Hold on. One two, three, four, and we start out with the energy. So, uh, cool dark energy, loving that. I don't know what some of these Pokemon are. I'm not going to lie. I have not been caught up on it, but it looks pretty cool. Nice Haunter there. I like that art a lot. That's really cool Haunter art. Um, I've seen this one, Sinchino. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure how, how we say it. And Minchino. So one of them evolves into the other one. Cool. We've got a little evolutionary line there. A nice corp fish, Shellos, both of them. I like that both of them are in there. Um, Dino, is that what that's? Is that how you're supposed to say that? Dino, kind of funny, kind of cute. Alolan Geodude, cool. I have. I don't think I have any other Alolan cards. That's my first Alolan card. Very nice. We have a Reverse Hollow Shelmet, and I think on the back of this is our rare. Sweet, look at that. That's our Type Null, I think. Isn't that what that is? Evolves from type null. So that is awesome. And I guess that's just supposed to be normal type. But man, that looks really cool. Very exciting. Going to put these over. All of these will be getting cases after the stream is over. Uh, if you guys would like me to be moving my streams over to my second channel, which I would do, I would love to do eventually, is like not spam my snake people with Pokemon streams, um, subscribe to my second channel. I'd really appreciate it. It is Joy Princess Sarah. Here on YouTube. Um, when I get 50 subscribers, I can start uh, doing live streams on there, but I cannot do live streams before I get 50 subscribers. So, but I'm not going to stop doing Pokemon stuff. All right, pack number two. Let's see what we got. And we bring up four from the back. So give me a sec to do that. One, two, three, four. All right. And our energy is psychic energy. Very nice. It's nice to see some of the newer energies. Nuzleaf. Memory Capsule. Giraffe Rig. I really like Giraffe Rig. I think that's a really cool design. Riolu. Sandile. That's a really cool card. I just like that card, just in general. Whalmer. Weedle. Beldum. Our reverse hollow is Cramorant which um, I had heard of, but never actually seen. So there you go. There's a reverse holo. And we got a Xerneas, holo rare Xerneas. That guy is going getting a case right now. Before anything even breathes on it too much, it's getting in a case right now. Hold on. 
Wow, we got a Xerneas, guys. I love Xerneas. I think that's such a cool design. I'm so excited for these cards. This is really, this is really neat. This is like, I mean, that's a legendary. I'm so excited about that. Really, really cool card. All of the rares and hollows will be getting their own cases. Okay, we have two more packs to open. And then if you guys want to, you'll have to tell me in the chat. I can go through a page of my old Pokemon cards while we're here to look at some of the old things for nostalgia. Just let me know. And also, if anybody's tuning in and wants to talk snakes, that's also fine. This is a snake channel, so I would not blame you for be uh, for wanting to talk snakes instead of Pokemon. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Moving to the front. Our energy is a water energy. Cool. Here, I'm going to move Cramorant back here. I'm going to kind of just organize my piles a little bit there. Citrus Berry. Very nice. Hyper Potion. Lots of trainer cards, it seems like. Maybe that's just standard and it seems like a lot. Kingler. Sobble. I love this little guy. He's so cute. He's so just so cute. Oh, awesome. We got, I think, this is Galarian Ponyta. And for some reason, I thought Alolan, but it's not Alolan. That's a Galarian Ponyta. That's awesome. I like that card. Salandit. So Bal Toy. A Reverse Hollow Zigzagoon. That's nice. That's our Galarian Zigzagoon. And in the back, we have Ninetales. Non hollow but rare. We'll be getting a case. Awesome, awesome. We're on our last one, guys. I saved Celebi for last. So, last case. If anybody wants me to go through any old cards, speak now or forever hold your peace. Or I guess if you were to say it in, you know, 20 or 30 seconds, I'd probably still do that. <laughs> because that's just how I do. All right. Then I move four from the back. One, two, three, four. The reason we move four from the back is so uh, we get the uh, hollow last or the rare last fire energy. Here, I'm going to move these guys back. Keep forgetting. Opal. I'm not sure who Opal is. I'm sure that if you've been like playing the games or watching the anime, you might know who that is, but I don't know who that is. Metang. Another giraffe rig. I still like that giraffe rig. It's pretty cool. I do not know what this Pokemon is. Tynamo. It's kind of cute. Execute. Chatot. I do know Chatot. Another one. Clobopus. Not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Skiddo. I know Skiddo. Very cute. And it looks like uh, Moo Moo Cheese is our reverse hollow. And a rare Metagross. Awesome. I think that that was a little anticlimactic, but still, we got a little cool cards. I am loving uh, the Xerneas card that we got. And, uh, the one that we got before that, that was, I think, the full art. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put this one in a case now as well. And, of course, our Mew is going to go in a case. Not disappointed at all. Very exciting. Very exciting. And this card is almost textured also. I mean, it is textured. Uh, if you touch the outside of the card, I don't know if you can see the ridges, but the ridges you can actually feel as well. So, very cool, and I'm going to carefully get the Mew out of here, very carefully. It looks like they were not, mm, I was going to say they weren't careful with it, but it's not like, I don't think it really bent it. It looks okay. So, alright. Like I said, speak now if you would like me to go through any others. Um, I have a whole book, I have a whole book full of Pokemon cards that we can go through if you would like. And I may end up going through them whether anybody says anything or not, because that's what I like to do. I like to go through Pokemon cards, especially ones from my childhood. Those three are just super cool together, though. Very exciting. All right. Well, even though nobody said anything, I'm going to go through another page. And let's see what we've got. We have a ton, guys. We have a ton. All right. Pulling a page out, and we're going to start with electric type, because that's what's on top. And we have energy in a different language. Cool enough. And we're going with Jolteon. We have, I just have so many rare cards from when I was a kid. Like, so many. Like, I know that's not a rare card, but, like, these are all rares, and some of them are hollow or reverse hollow. Look at that old school card. This, I really like. The, like this art of Jolteon. There's a, a lot of Jolteon art that I really don't like, but I really like this art of Jolteon. And the next one that we have is 
We'll just go ahead and do trainer in it, or trainer cards, just to kind of get those out of the way. To me, those are the least interesting. So we're going to go with trainer cards, and we're starting with Team Aqua Conspirator. And of course, I don't know what significance the Team Aqua Conspirator has, but very cool. And this is energy removal, super energy removal. This one here has got a little bit of crinkles, a little bit of damage, but uh, either way, still cool. Both of those are rare, so they'll be getting cases uh, when we are done here. Uh, the next thing on this page, I did sort out the pages like this, by the way. Uh, we're going to go with grass, and we're starting with Ivysaur. Very nice. I, I really like that art, just like this art style on the top here. There's, I see a lot of cards like that from that generation, and I really like that art style. Especially in comparison to some of the older ones. Like, the, I, like I don't like this art style at all. I think he looks kind of kind of weird. And we have Skiploom. So this fills in some of the uh, gaps that we were experiencing before. Like, we had the first... Uh, like, we had Hopip and we had Jump Luck, but we did not have Skiploom. And it's the same thing with Ivysaur. I think that we've done Venusaur and we've done Bulbasaur, but now we're doing Ivysaur. That's what happens when you pull them by random, kind of get get an unknown assortment. All right, we're going to do water next, and since we don't have any more dark or steel types, we're doing double waters. So we're going to start with Sharpedo. This is a rare card, so I'm going to make sure that this card gets a case. I'm going to put it over here with these guys. We have Whalmer and Pyloswine. This one already has a soft case. Make sure to put it over there. And another pile of swine. I have all these cards in different languages and I'm not really sure where they came from. And I have Krabby. Cute little Krabby. I think that was like, I think that was the first time when I was watching the anime that I saw Ash catch a Pokemon was when he caught Krabby. Because I didn't get in on the very first episodes. I got in a few episodes later and Krabby was the first Pokemon that he caught like when I saw it. So I don't know, I kind of remember that. It kind of sticks out in my brain. All right, we're going to do fighting. It seems to be maybe the least like fun one because we just got all these fighting energies. I don't normally show you guys the energies, but these ones are here. So all those fighting energies. I could probably make a fighting deck with the fighting energies I have. And this one, we have Quickle. And I don't remember what it's called. Swinub? Is that what it is? I think maybe it's a Swinub, but it's a first edition. So I'm going to make sure it gets a case. All right, we have three more to go. I'm going to go ahead and do the colorless or normal type. We're starting with Shellgon, which is another one that I think we did we did the uh, evolved form last time, I think. So here we've got Shellgon. This Shellgon's actually rare. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to make sure to put those two in cases. Put that little guy back there and Vigoroth. Very nice. I I'm not a huge fan of that that line, but I think that they're really cool competitively. Okay, guys, I see one that I think that everybody's going to be kind of excited about. So we're pulling fire this time because I think that this is going to be exciting. We have Moltres, guys, the original cards. And we have Blaine's Moltres, which is obviously damaged. Sorry you're late. Don't worry about being sorry. Don't worry, or don't be sorry. You don't have to worry about it. If this brain, Blaine, ugh, can't talk, Blaine's Moltres was in a little bit better shape, it would be nicer, but it looks like it did have some water damage at some point. Either way, like, I'm just doing this to collect mostly, so I'm just glad to have something that cool. And another one of these, non-holo, and in a different language again. And these are also in cases, and I'm not 100% sure what they are. Is this damage to the card or just to the case? It looks like it's just to the case. Let's see. And hey, guys. Oh my gosh, all these legendaries. Look at these cards. Look at those. Super sparkly shiny. All of these are going to get hard cases, but man, oh man. Look at that. And this one is a promo, and its number is 34. Who knows where I got that card? That is an awesome card, though. Wow. Jeez, guys. Super exciting. This whole handful is all going to get uh, extra cases. All right. I don't know how we can top that, but I'm going to grab Psychic. And um, then we can be done with the stream, unless anybody wants more, which... I'm always happy to go through more. And we have Kaladol on this side, guys. It's a, oh my gosh, I think that I, I think that anybody who has been doing Pokemon knows what these cards are. How fitting, guys, that we would get Mew on the day that I opened the Mew box. 
This one's obviously very damaged, um, but still, I mean, again, if you're just looking to be a collector, sometimes you'll take the damaged ones. Either way, I know that I will. Like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these regardless, probably. But wow, that's awesome! Awesome last, last pull there. Very exciting. Like, I don't even know what to even say about this Mew card. Like, what do you even say? Like. Uh, you know, I mean, I remember they were giving these cards out when uh, the first movie came out. If you went to the theater, you got the card. I think that this one was my brother's card, and I salvaged it from somewhere. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, like, of course, when we were kids, it was like, oh, it was free, so I don't have to worry about taking good care of it. But, you know, that it is what it is. Still, I don't even know what to say about these cards. Like, I'm gonna have to look up and see... You know, because I know that they were only giving these out at the theaters when you went to the movie, so. That was awesome. I'm super excited. Alright, uh, it's been a little over 15 minutes, a little over 16 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate anybody watching and commenting. And uh, I will see you guys next time when I go through more of this book. Because there is still plenty to go through here. Let's, uh, let's go through some of the highlights since we're here. I didn't really put many things in cases. I know there's still some rares up here, so give me just a second to go through and find some of those rares. They weren't like super exciting ones, if I remember. I think they were the uh, the trainer card ones. But since they are rare, I want to make sure we get them. My Jolteons are also in here, so let's put those down there. And here's the super energy removals that are rare. This Metagross is rare. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to worry about the common reverse hollows. I'm just going to worry about the rares right now. All right, so let's go through these just to sort of highlight what we got when opening up new packs and looking at old Pokemon cards as well. So we got a brand new rare Metagross, these older Super Energy removals, older jo Jolteons. We have a non hollow, a reverse hollow, and a hollow, hollow clay doll. Non-hollow Mew promo card, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited to get these in hard cases. That's that's the main reason I'm going through all of these cards like this, is to actually put all of the rare ones in hard cases so that they are not being damaged any more than they already have. So that's... And I figured, you know what, maybe somebody else would enjoy watching it too, and that's why I decided to stream it. So uh, we have our, whatever you want to call these, movie Mew cards, perhaps. Uh, we have our Moltres, uh, only the Blaine's Moltres being uh, hollow, but um, of course also being damaged. We have our Entei and our Entei X, and then another, our Promo Entei, those being hollow. Uh, Shilgon, which is surprisingly rare. Snubble, I believe. Is that Snubble? That's not Snubble. What is that? Um, swine Up, not Snubble. I thought I knew it started with an S. And Pile of Swine, our Light Pile of Swine. Sharpedo. And of course, the three rares that we pulled from those packs today are Mu V, our, is it, S I don't know if I've ever, uh, I know there's a Xerneas and Silvoli, is that how you say that? I'm not sure. I still, I need to brush up on my new Pokemon because I am not 100% on those. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.